Let us now go to Qi transformation. The topic is basic concept and motive force. The theory of Qi transformation is also an important component of CM. It is reflected in every phase from the basic theories to all aspects of clinical practice. An accurate and thorough understanding of Qi and its transformation is necessary for the mastery of the CM theoretical system and its application. The basic concept of Qi transformation in philosophy refers primarily to its changes and transformation under certain conditions. In CM, it applies principally to the metabolism and transformations of essence, Qi, blood, and body fluid. As a matter of fact, the course of Qi transformation is a course of transformation of the materials and the functional capability in the body. The concept is a high-level abstraction of the actions and transformations of yin-yang and of the responses to disease evils. By the theory of the unity of Qi, when Qi is in a state of condensation, it has form and is yin. When Qi is dispersed, it is formless and active and is yang. In CM, the yin and yang aspects of Qi together constitute the foundation of human physiology. The normal movement and changes of Qi give rise to the regular changes from generation to growth and development to reaping from the natural world and storing it. Qi transformation and its proper direction of movement are the physiological basis for many processes. These include the transformation of essence, the circulation of blood, the distribution of body fluid, the digestion of food, the absorption of nutrients, the excretion of waste, the moistening of tendons and bones, the moistening of skin, and the resistance to external disease evils. The body's physiological activities depend upon qi transformation because it is their primary motive force. In the broader sense, qi transformation encompasses all the physiological activities as well as the movement patterns of qi. In the narrower sense, it is the San Zhao harmonizing and regulating the metabolism of body fluid. The motive force for qi transformation is first the kidney's primordial yang as source of motive force. In the human body, qi transformation reflects the courses of the mutual transformation of essence, blood and body fluids on the one hand, and the visceral organs and tissues. CM believes that primordial yang of the kidney is a source of the motive force for qi transformation. The classic on medical problem states, the active qi between the kidneys determines a person's life. It is the root of the 12 meridians and is termed primordial qi. As this quote indicates, the active qi between the kidneys is related to genuine qi and is also related to the fire of the vital gate. According to the Ming Dynasty physician Zhang Jingyue, the vital gate is the root of primordial qi and the house of functional water and fire. The yin qi of the five zhang viscera needs it in order to receive nourishment, and the yang qi of the five zhang viscera needs it in order to develop. He stressed that the vital gate contains yin qi and yang qi, water and fire, and these two forms of qi are the root of inner qi and the source of postnatal acquired qi. He thus clarified that the essence of active qi between the kidneys is the key of vitality. Though physicians may differ in their opinions regarding the vital gate, there is no dispute regarding its main physiological functions. The vital gate's most important function is to be the root of genuine qi. It is the source of the body's warming capacity, and it warms all the internal organs and tissues and promotes their functional activities. The kidney is the foundation of in it constitution of the human body and the root of yin and yang. As the foundation of in it constitution, it has two meanings. The first is that the kidney houses essence, including both in it and acquired essence, and essence is the basic substance of life. The second is that the kidney contains the functional fire of the vital gate, and this fire is the motive force behind the vital activities and material transformations of the body. The relationship between essence and the vital gate is characterized as follows. Qi generates essence, and essence is transformed into Qi. The fire of the vital gate depends upon essence as the basic biological substance for all the physiological activities. Essence depends on the functional fire of the vital gate as the motive force for the warming transformation and distribution of all vital nutrients. If there is no fire of the vital gate, the body's essence will become a mere inert substance without the capability of nurturing life. Second is motive force for qi transformation is in qi itself. 
the process of qi transformation is a natural biological process. What the theory of qi transformation insists upon is that one qi embodies both yin and yang. The myriad things in the universe are generated through the opposition and mutual support of yin and yang. Thus, the motive force for qi transformation resides within qi itself. As the spiritual pivot says, the upper jiao is open and permits effusion. It assimilates and diffuses the flavors of the five grains. It warms the skin, nourishes the body, and it keeps the hair moist like the sprinkling from fog and dew. Such are the actions of qi. This quote shows that qi itself possesses two entirely different tendencies and actions, ascending versus descending, and warming, evaporating versus moistening and nourishing. The Ming Dynasty physician Wang Kentang said, The one qi contains within itself yin and yang, heat and cold, ascending and descending, and activity and quiescence. This clearly indicates that yin and yang are both contained within qi and that the interaction between yin qi and yang qi is the fundamental cause of qi transformation. Thank you so much for your attention.